Thanks for being here today. My name is Juan Mendez, and I represent the Arizona State Senate in District 26. This is Tempe, Mesa, the Salt River Bay, Maricopa Indian community, a little bit of Phoenix. Um, I'm here to tell you, uh, to, to repeat again, that, uh, that we can no longer ignore our climate crisis. And the time to act is now, right? We, uh, shifting away from fossil fuels, including natural gas, is key to giving our planet and us a chance to survive and thrive. We need to create an, a resilient energy grid, and fossil fuels don't. Fossil fuels don't do that. Fossil fuels didn't make Texas resilient this past winter when hundreds of people froze to death in their homes. Fossil fuels didn't make Louisiana any more resilient when more than uh, with more than 400,000 homes and businesses still remain without power nine days after the Hurricane, hurricane Ida hit, uh, and their death toll is still mounting. Even though, uh, even though a controversial new gas plant was pitched as their answer to great resiliency, it failed. And fossil fuels are the main culprit of, of why we're dealing with all of our problems, while, while we're dealing with droughts, wildfires, wildfires, flooding, hurricanes, and extreme heat all of which seem to get worse and worse with each passing year. According to the IPCC's sixth assessment report, with further global warming, we can expect all of these events to increase in intensity, along with hefty price tags that touch every part of our economy, as well as the high cost to our public health. But it doesn't have to be this way. We call on the SRP board to vote no on the gas plant expansion next week. We ask that everybody who cares about our air, our water, and our health of, of, of our health of Arizona, Arizonans give public comment at the SRP board this Monday, September 13th. We also ask that you sign the Sierra Club Grand Canyon chapter's petition to oppose the gas plant, email the SRP executives and board members, and tell them to pass on gas. There's power in numbers, and today we have the ability to create a more meaningful, positive change. As Yara mentioned earlier, it, it's time for our utilities to invest in real, clean energy. The future has to be renewable, and the market has already paved the way, as, as can be witnessed by the recent uh, IRENA report. Re renewable power generation costs in, uh, in, 20, uh, in 2020, which stated that the renewables were the world's cheapest source of energy in 2020. The report also highlighted the fact that the cost of large-scale solar projects have dropped 85% in the last decade, so there's no reason for us to be waiting. Why would it make sense for SRP customers who are already struggling to put a nearly $1 billion bill for a new gas plant expansion when it's more expensive and damaged in a damaging form of energy? We'd like SRP to move forward with a fully transparent public process to vet all available options for Arizona's future energy needs. So the most prudent and healthy choice to create a resilient grid for all of, the, for all of us is on the table. As it stands, please join me in telling SRP to pass on the gas, and because this is a climate crisis. Thank you for your time today, and please welcome our last speaker, Brian. Brian Messinas.